Hey guys, Megan here with Retry. We are going to walk you through how to add your live stream YouTube embed code to your WordPress website. Um, this can be important if you want to set a stream to automatically feed into that website on a regular basis so that you don't have to change your embed code ongoing. So let's dive in. All right, so this is going to be assuming that you already have a YouTube account, you've already been verified. Um, if you haven't done that, if you have a brand new YouTube account or you haven't um, live streamed yet, you will need to go um, verify your account, which does take 24 hours. So this walkthrough is just going to assume that you've already done that and that you're ready to um, go ahead and get your link to embed your channel into your website. So I'm on my YouTube channel here. Um, first, we need to find our channel ID because this is gonna be a piece that we are going to be using for uh, the embed into your WordPress website. So we are going to go into your settings. So you click on your little icon here. We're gonna go down to our settings and then we're gonna go into advanced settings. So this is my channel ID here. Um, we're gonna need to copy this and you can paste this somewhere else in another window uh, cause we're gonna need this in a little while. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up here to create and we're gonna hit go live. This is gonna take us into the YouTube Creator Studio where you can set up your stream. Okay, so this is telling me this cause I'm obviously using my camera right now, but I'm gonna manage my stream. So um, for a church client, uh, you're gonna schedule your stream. And obviously if you go live every Sunday, if you go live, um, if you wanna go ahead and schedule your stream that way, you will end up getting this on your website. So this is this uh, client's thumbnail. So this is their graphic that they have. And then if I hit play, this tells me down here, they go live in three days at 1020 AM. So I can hit notify if I wanna subscribe to their channel and then I'll get a notification when they do go live. But you won't get this unless you schedule your streams ahead of time. Otherwise you'll just get an error message. So with that, we don't want that. Um, so to get this, you, like I said, you'll schedule your stream. We'll have to do a title. So mine is just going to say test stream. You can add your description. Um, this is going to ask you how you're going live. Are you using software? Are you just using a webcam? If you're using your streaming software, you can set that up, you know, restream or whatever. You can set that up in your settings your category, um, depending on obviously what that is, you can choose that here. Your thumbnail is gonna be good because this is what shows up here, okay? So because you don't just want a blank or a, the gray screen that you sometimes get from not having one, add your thumbnail there. And then if you have different playlists, you can set that uh, to go here. Uh, this is required for you to say, yes, it's made for kids or not, obviously based on what your streaming is, so you can choose that. Then once you hit next, you get to also choose if you wanna have live chat available. Um, yes or no, you would just uncheck that box. Here's your participation stuff for your live chat. If they need to be a subscriber to be able to participate. I'm gonna hit next and now visibility. Is this public? Is this private? You can choose that. And then here's your schedule. So let's say that I wanna go live on the 12th at 10 30 a.m i'm gonna hit done and then it's going to be scheduled so um obviously when you go live you'll be coming back in here and actually la launching um your live stream but then back on your website how do we get this on we are going to use that uh, channel id that we took earlier we are now going to go back to our wordpress website um, you can check your channel ID to make sure it's correct. Um, I will have this URL in the uh, comment section, but this is my channel ID here. So the URL that you would go to is youtube.com slash embed slash live underscore stream question mark channel equals, and then you paste in your um, channel ID here. Now, when you check that, it should have your stream name. It should have your thumbnail. Um, if you hit play, you should see your next scheduled date. So if none of these things are working, or if you don't see something here that's shown, then let's go back into your 
uh, settings here and check out what's going on because all of these things should be here. The thumbnail that you stuck in and your next uh, live stream. So if that looks correct, if you can see your channel URL here and everything looks good, then you're going to go into your WordPress website. I'm going to go onto this watch live page and then we're going to get this embed code here. All right. So here is my video stream here. Um, this was actually an old channel ID that I had. So I'm actually just going to copy this again and we're going to pop that into this iframe. Boom. So this iframe code I'll also have in the comment section. So if you're not a coder, you're going to need to make sure if you can see these parentheses here, your uh, channel URL needs to go in between the parentheses. So as you can see, I've left that open parentheses there and then it's going to go right in between the closed parentheses here. But then all of your code is set. It's going to auto play. It's set within the frame size and then I'm going to hit save and then my stream is ready to go again. So the one major thing that you need to remember is to make sure that you just schedule your streams. If you schedule ahead of time, let's say you are a church and you're obviously gonna stream every Sunday, just go in and make your schedule ahead of time, put it in for every week, and then you guys are ready to go. If you're doing some one-offs or you don't have a routine schedule, you will get an error again if you don't have your streams scheduled. That's usually the main problem. If we've got clients that have emailed to say, hey, my stream isn't working or there's just a gray box, um, it doesn't look like it should. It's usually just because you've either run out of your streams that were pre-scheduled or you didn't, you forgot to set that up. So again, hopefully this is a uh, super helpful. Um, after my last video that we made, I did see that, um, somebody did comment that it also works for Wix websites. Um, we personally only use WordPress, which is why I'm talking about using it on WordPress websites, but it does seem to work on Wix. Uh, again, so hopefully this was super helpful. And uh, if you like this video, please subscribe and we will be making some more.